Biology, rats, and today I'm going to talk about what are the chest x-ray findings, chest x-ray finding of pulmonary embolism. Okay, so really very important. Remember, 30% of the patients with this uh, pulmonary embolism, the chest x-ray will be normal, 30% of the patients, right? And the management of the pulmonary embolism is really very important. We recently uploaded a video on that. Try, please do watch that video. Okay, and um, it's really very important for your USMLE or any other medical board examination. Okay, guys. So let's talk about uh, what are the chest X-ray findings of the pulmonary embolism. One is what you call a Westermark's sign. Okay, Westermark sign. This is nothing but area of uh, peripheral oligemia. Peripheral oligemia. Oligemia means no blood supply to that area, right? Because of the embolism, what happens? The the area of that uh, uh, what you call uh, there will not there will not be any blood or something like that. So what happens? It results in a oligemia. Okay. And if you wanna see what's a Westermark uh, sign, just Google the images, X-ray images. I cannot. Uh, upload an image over here because of the copyright. So try to watch those things on a Google. Okay, and second thing is uh, knuckle sign Knuckle sign, okay, what's a knuckle sign is also known as a uh, palace sign palace sign, right and unlock enlarged what you call a right descending pulmonary artery enlarged Right Descending pulmonary artery. Okay, remember this. This is very important, and this also known as a Palas sign. Now, very important, Hampton's hump. Hampton's hump. What's a Hampton's hump? It's a peripheral wedge-shaped opacity with convexity towards the hilum. Okay, like this, right? Yep. That's a Hampton's hump. It's nothing but peripheral wedge-shaped opacity with convexity towards a hilum, right? Then we have another sign that's known as melting sign. These are really very important for you, many guys. What's a melting sign? It's nothing but it's an infarct, okay, infarction that shows rapid clearing in contrast to the mnemonic consolidation that it melts like a snow. Okay, it's a, it melts like a snow, okay? Melting sign. In fact, shows a rapid clearing in contrast to mnemonic consolidation. Then we have another sign that's also important. That's known as a Flushner's sign. Flushner's signs is nothing but elevated, what do you call hemidiaphragm. Hemidiaphragm. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. These are the important signs for a pulmonary embolism in a chest x-ray. Okay guys, so thank you so much. Take care.